Uh, give me some time to finish my talk. I will try my best to make my talk fast. So then you can enjoy your lunch. <laughs> so, uh, so what I want to talk is uh, the KGTP. Uh, it's a, 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 GB, a GB knife in linear kernel. And uh, the first is what is KGTP? It's a uh, KGTP is not a no, not a G KGDB. It's a it's a version of uh, the Linux kernel GB transport module. Uh, I call it a, a GB knife in, in Linux kernel because it's um, flexible, lightweight, and uh, you know, like uh, lightweight and real time, like a small knife, you know, in the in the kernel, and uh, it can handle the you know edge of the uh, handle the edge of the uh, a live Linux server because it can trace and debug the, the Linux kernel and the user space program without stop them. Uh, also, it uh, can handle the actual of the embedded uh, Linux <coughs> system because uh, it's uh, lightweight. Another reason is uh, how uh, you know special function for the uh, embedded system is uh, offline de debug. Uh, it's, uh, it's used by uh, some companies. It's uh, merged, uh, the important one is that uh, it's merged to Linux kernel tree of the uh, Alibaba uh, Taobao in uh, previous years generally. Uh, first, uh, the second uh, the introduce is uh, the lightweight code. Uh, KGTP is uh, developed by my spare time, so it's, uh, you know, must be a lightweight, lightweight project. And uh, you know some tracer need a lot of code to you know parse the execution information uh, to get uh, you know give, uh, get some information from the kernel and uh, you know par uh, parse them out and uh, to the user. So you need a lot of code to run it. But uh, KGTP don't need it because uh, you know GB can get the input from the you know everything from the user and uh, translate to the right you know. Just uh, you know, translate something about you know to address some address you know or you know which address we care you know which register name here and uh, you know send the date to KJTP. KJTP can you know get the date and uh, you know get it for KJTP can focus on you know get date from, from kernel and just send them back to GDB and GDB can you know translate back to the you know user can understand information and uh, you know give back to user. So you know, this is uh, the a vision of the KGTP. You can see it's uh, not a big field. This is a core view of a KGTP. It's not a big field. Uh, the next is uh, lightweight execution. Uh, the most uh, trace function of uh, KGTP are based on the K prop. Uh, I said most because uh, we also have uh, you know two uh, maybe some interesting function are based on the not based on the K prop. I will introduce them later and. Uh, so uh, sometimes they uh, use KJTP doesn't need you know rebuild kernel you know you know just uh, you know uh, build the KJTP uh, module and the install you know you without uh, start you the your machine just you know build build it and uh, you know install then you can use it so I what I try is a lot of system you know uh, for example the Fedora Ubuntu or you know some system they just uh, you know install. In small is okay. When you don't need it, you just you know remove it out from the kernel and don't need restart. Then like nothing happened. The next what I introduce is uh, real time. This is some tracer. Some tracer is uh, you know tracer will not stop. Of course, it will not stop the kernel. But uh, uh, I said most kernel you, know, you we always have some kernel can can connect to G GDB, but. Uh, a lot of kernel can, cannot be controlled by GB. The next is the, the, the debugger. The debugger, of course, we'll talk about KGDB. It's a de debugger. Or the stop of the QMU. It's a debugger. It's good, very good debugger, powerful, and uh, can be controlled by GB. But uh, it uh, eventually it's, uh, will stop the kernel. You know, KGDB, even if uh, they will stop the kernel. So it, uh, have internal, you know, have internal KDB to you know debug, but uh, it will stop the kernel. So, GB cannot execution on the current machine, of course. The next is uh, KGTP. KGTP is uh, you know it's uh, will not stop the 
hold the kernel and uh, can, can be controlled by GB. And the important thing is that GB can just execution on the current machine. You know, when you're running, you're just running you know, you know, the kernel that you're just debugging on it. So that's why I call it KGTP, it's a debugger and a tracer. Now, uh, then I will do some show about, uh, you know, uh, real time. So now I, in, in, I will invent my show system. The name, they all, you already said it's a big bug bunny. <laughs> Uh, uh, then when I, when I began to, uh, what I did is uh, use KGTP to de uh, debug the, the current machine that uh, played the uh, 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 Big Bad Bunny and uh, do some you know, debug works. The first is uh, read the variable of the Linux kernel. And you can see what I use is, uh, you know, generic uh, kernel of the Ubuntu. It can you you can see this a whole oh, whole 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 KGTP is a builder is okay very very small you can see. Then uh, it's small and open GDB and uh, connect to KGTP. Of course, it's a big bad name, big bad bunny. Keep it running. Then you can begin to read um, some variables from the kernel. Uh, it's uh, not a very, very, of course, I still have another tools can do it. It's uh, not very important. Okay, now another thing began is uh, trees. Uh, next row is uh, trees the kernel, you know. Uh, first I want trees is a VFS read. Uh, trace VFS read and uh, set up the action. So first action is collect, collect, uh, collect, uh, Dollar BT. Dollar BT is a special. Uh, Dollar BT is a special trace state variable. I will introduce it later. But uh, these lines mean you know when KGTP gets these lines, uh, will convert this action to collect the date for the back trees. After that is uh, trace the dual RQ. Say, and uh, the same the uh, same action then what they. Important thing is that T start and T stop with some time. Oh, it becomes slow. Go fast. Then you can begin to do back uh, defend and do back trees. Oh, it's, you can see back trees, you get back trees. The kernel, the kernel back trees and ju just on the current machine. You can see Big Bad Bunny is not that fact. Okay. So next, uh, next, what I want to show is uh, the read the variable of the user space program. I know a lot of people will think, oh, it's a it's a real not a new version. Oh, we, we G GB already can did it right. I agree with you. It's uh, but uh, it's a uh, how I show is uh, if you you can see if uh, you you what we, uh, if uh, the current current way what they did is uh, attach. I will show what I attach affect the 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 the, 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 the program. When you begin to attach, you can see oh, it's a uh, hung. It's a, you can see is uh, when you debug, just debug is uh, not actual. But uh, if you if you 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 have an online system, you have another program connect with you with you, or your customer just uh, you know use it, it's actual. You know he I think I don't think. He will be very happy for a visit, right? So, let's see. Okay, let's keep. Then let's see what uh, KGTP did. Do I let what, what KGTP can, can trace it? Uh, actually, it uh, looks very close. It's uh, another attach. Go, go, go. <laughs> Attach it. Then you can see we already attached, but you can see Big Bad Bunny is not affect. Access the variable of the user space program. It can you can see it's a uh, work okay. You also we can we can I change some some value inside. It's uh, okay to 
to use its chain. And the now, uh, uh, next show is uh, trace the uh, uh, system call. Hmm. Uh, trace the system call from the u from the kernel to user space. Hmm. I know uh, some people maybe you know post to the mail list about uh, um, if they can do it actually or I, I said post that mail to the arrow and it already done with it but no one answered me so and now I show you how I did it the first uh, trace point is uh, this trace point is for the kernel path you can see ah fast 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 you can see I, I set, set a condition for this trace point for just for this uh, just, just for this piece uh, thread. Same collect back trees. The next trace point is uh, for the next trace point is for the user space. You can see uh, it lo looks same, but uh, another action is uh, collect dollar current. It means this this trace point will 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 collect the information of the user space program. Then you can T star. You can see big bad bunny deep keep running. Actually, I don't know how to stop it. <laughs> then, <laughs> then you can go. You can see you can do backtrace of the kernel path. Kernel kernel next. This uh, user space part. Back trees, you can see this pole, another, you can see the leap. Keep, keep, keep. keep. It's uh, some function of the, 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 the player. You can see it this way. Then, then this show is, uh, and also we collect uh, some global variable. You can see we get it, yeah. Okay. Uh, the ne next is the flexible support for the kernel. This uh, this benefit is uh, this benefit is uh, obtained from the lightweight code. You know, uh, the lightweight code always easy to support. You know, different thing. You can add a lot of define because already a very small. So a lot of define is easy to control all the code. So, mo so I, I don't want, when I began to work on the KGTP, I don't want to become a tool, you know, before you use it, you know, where I didn't use another tool in before, you know, you need to, you know, patch your kernel and open a lot of, you know, operations that make the kernel slow and, uh, you know, you, you never want to open this operation on the, you know, a light source because, you know, it, uh, with, uh, with the, the time of the system, it's, uh, for, for some company, it means with the money. But uh, you don't want need, need don't need uh, to open this option. Just uh, you know, in small you can see just in small and uh, you know build and in small is okay. So it then uh, support x eighty six MIPS and ARM, and this support from Linux kernel two point six point eighteen. So uh, to upstream, so it's a very 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 old old version kernel. So. So because you know, there's a really, really, really you, 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 maybe you will ask me, is it, is it really useful, the all evasion? Uh, I've told you, it's, a, it's a true, but uh, you know, with a discussion with some people, you know, in the, about the you know, the, 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 the online, online service, I don't know, website company, they also use some old, very, very old version. Uh, some, some people said to me, you know, the KTTV is kind of running on the 2.6.9, I say, wow, too old. <laughs> so I'm still not completely old. So also it support Android. You know, Android. Android is an embedded Linux system because you know, you know what I mean. So this uh, next show is uh, connect GDB inside a uh, KDTP inside the uh, Android. Good, good question. So um, how much target specific code is there for each processor? Pardon? How much? How much target specific code? How much Uh, I mean, uh, about the array culture? Yeah, very, very small because uh, you, know, you just, uh, you know, more work is uh, translate. I mean, uh, translate, the, the, for example, you, you got some, you know, MIPS register information. 
you need to translate to the, the, the some information that uh, GB can know, GB can read it. It's just actually it's just this, this part. Uh, Sometimes you know uh, some you know extend the function you know. Uh, for example, maybe uh, the hardware breakpoint. You know, I still not support it for the MIPS because you know, it's uh, some other code, but uh, still not support. <laughs> so if this function no support, then you can. So the more important function is how to you know translate the the the, the register information to the GB can read. This is an important function. Just for so so it's uh, not need a lot of code because it you know like. <laughs> you have to do the, uh, the XML thing for the uh, no, just with my hand code is right with my hand. <laughs> uh, so uh, the next show is uh, debug the Android. Ooh, it's too fast. Now build the KDTP with uh, Android kernel. You can see, ah, oh, it's complete. Oh, really fast. Then. Now set up the emulation of the, the, the KDTP inside the Android board. You can translate what I use, ADB, copy it to the set up the debug fuel system of the Android. And forward, then net, open netcat in the Android board. Then open GDB and uh, connect to it. Yeah. OK. Then you, you get a. Uh, all the functions that uh, what they show in before, you can read the variable or or you will trace the kernel. Maybe maybe also you can trace the, the user space program, but uh, I didn't try. So I also I think it all uh, works. It's uh, not different because it's, uh, it's also a linear kernel, right? So it's okay, complete. So next, it's a uh, flexible support, <coughs> flexible connection with uh, GB. So GB can connect the KDTP from current, uh, you know, GB in the current machine. You know, it was said in the show one, two, three, four, and uh, GB can connect to the KDTP from the remote machine. You know, show the previous show that uh, show from for Android. Another interesting function what I did, uh, I talked in before is uh, offline debug. Offline debug is a uh, you know it's a uh, it's a uh, means uh, when you when you board never can connect to the GB you can use uh, the, this function called the uh, offline debug so node online node offline I will show the offline debug with Android this is uh, the first step the first step is open a uh, GB and uh, you know connect to a uh, you know Target remote, what I, you can see, uh, what I changed, now they connect to KGTP, connect to a script that they include the source code of the KGTP. You can, you know, then, uh, the, this script can, you know, get the RSP packet uh, from the GDB and save them to fields. Then you can do some trees works like what they did in before. You can see this uh, is called dumpstruck. Dumpstruck means, uh, you know, it's called, call, it's uh, also a Another special transpond state uh, verbal is uh, like dollar uh, BT. It's uh, you know it's uh, works and uh, it's uh, while collected while uh, let the kernel just call the function inside it a dump struck. Then it will then when when the this transpond is uh, works it will also you know print the, the, the dump truck. Then we then you can get the dump truck uh, uh, before you. Use GB connected. Also, we connect the do dollar BT for the backtrace. The now uh, mount the, the, the SD card view uh, of the Android. Okay, copy some view to hit. Then it. The next is uh, use it. You can see I open the shell in the Android. Then you can then go to the SD card. It uh, set up the set up the KGTP. Oh, now it's okay. And uh, let it start. You can see this part is the log of the Android board. You can see 
this uh, battery is like a dump truck. Then we need stop. Stop. Now what do we want to do it? Also, we have get a lot of uh, you know trace from about batteries in the trace from how we do. Uh, then we we also have a T fuel, right? Then save the T fuel to the SD card view. SD card. Go. Next, go back to the computer that you used in before. Now, mount the, the, the SD card view, and then you can use it, the uh, view inside it. So now use the T field to open it. You can see the, the, the field that uh, they just saved in the SD card. You can, oh, it works. Backtrace, you can backtrace. You can, important thing is uh, you never, can, GB never connect to the KGTP just uh, through these fields. Now it's uh, next, it's a flexible set trace point. This is uh, not about uh, my function, it's about, about trace point. You can set trace point in some uh, in different address, including in inline function. And uh, you can use the uh, action of uh, uh, trace point to set the behavior of the, the, the uh, the trace point, you can collect something, you collect anything. When you care something, that's collected. When you don't need it, just don't collect. So, uh, and also you can use condition to, to of the trace point to set the condition that will trigger the, the, the trace point. So, it's a, the next is a flexible trace state variables. It's TSV, it's a sub-functional trace point. Very interesting function, no one. Did. It uh, can be defined. This, this page is about uh, the, how the GDB can support. It can be defined by user or target. And the, the value, this value is get from the target. Current uh, target will use it, KGTP. And the GDB can read the TSV's value anytime, and the trace point action can access TSV's value. And next, what's uh, KGTP with trace TSV? A uh, user can define, you know, simple TSV like, uh, you know, uh, simple, you know, uh, some counter or something. Also, you can, the uh, other thing very interesting is uh, define per CPU TSV. Per CPU is uh, like per, C per value inside the, the, the little kernel because, you know, you have a lot of SMP. Now, the most uh, system is a multiple system, you know. It's uh, even in the Android, you know, in many system, we have a lot of you know multiple system. So, so KDTP define a lot. Uh, so you can define it uh, more for, for four reasons. Uh, makes uh, you uh, your trace work speed very up. You know speed very up. You know you know, don't set up uh, you know lock to, to protect it. Just you know use it because it's a per CPU value. Another is uh, you have very easy to you know write your action code to just uh, you know count the something just of one CPU one call another call. You don't need, you know, and think about, you know, affect your speed of your system. And also KDTP define a lot of special TSV to support a lot of special functions. You know, you have said dollar $BT, it's defined inside, inside the, the KGTP. It's a, when, uh, when you have dollar $BT, dollar cut task PID, when, when, uh, when KGTP get it, you can, you can maybe just uh, 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 kick the value back. But another, maybe you, you have said, you know, collect dollar current, maybe some special function. I will talk some function in the B after that. Special function, open some function, just use it. And uh, uh, user also can use uh, a plugin uh, to, uh, add, uh, plug in to add, uh, add some uh, TSV to KGTP. Then, uh, then it's mean, what means uh, is very clear. Now I show the means. Uh, Another function, for example, the, the KGDB, you, you never can call the function inside the kernel, right? Because uh, it's, uh, I think it's uh, not, can, cannot do it because they don't support dump struck, right? Dump struck, uh, uh, dummy struck. It's uh, inside the kernel, it's not support dump, dummy struck. But with KGDB, you can, with uh, plugin of KGDB, you can do it. You can call any function of the kernel and get the return value through the KGDB and back to the, to the GDB.
Now I show the plugin of uh, KGTP. Ooh. It's a uh, it's a uh, it's easy example is in, in uh, included in the, the the source code of the KGTP. It's a uh, other is a is uh, other. Four, four TSV, four TSV to the uh, uh, to the KGTP, and uh, the test test three is uh, call this function is a uh, spirit symbol. It means uh, when he, when this TSV get a value, you you set a value to it. It will get the name of the this uh, this address and the print it print it. Now we use the same as a build it. And uh, okay, let's see. Uh, GB, KGTP already in the kernel, then you can dynamic uh, the KGT, this plugin inside. Then the same, uh, open the GB and connect with. Come on, come on, come on. And you can see, whoa, one, two, three, four is in this part. It's not in the before, that's uh, out by this plugin. Then we find the function that what we like. Let it translate it back to a name and uh, print it in the log. Okay. T start. Then you can see, oh, we got this name. Okay. Second. And. Uh, hmm. Next, uh, flexible. It's uh, because it just do a lot of you know show about you know very simple example. So I want to do some you know complex show about that you know get the structure of the kernel that disable interrupt in the longest time. For the same, uh, same connect to the KDTP and uh, then define some per CPU value. Uh, it's a per CPU, the P means uh, the per CPU value. Uh, we add this for each CPU. You can access, uh, we will access this one just for CPU 2. Uh, define. This, this, you can see this function is uh, uh, the function of kernel that uh, disable the IRQ. You can see, wow, lot of locations. I still not uh, include the module info. Maybe you I should, uh, you know, include uh, the module info. Maybe you know more function inside, more uh, locations. Uh, I uh, just uh, recorder some recorder the the, the dollar clock is uh, also a special TSV clock that get the clock of the current seat current time and uh, and then you save it to the p count per cp value and then another one is uh, uh, the enable and if you are at a condition you know it's really longer than some other one you can see some locations then if it's really longer than the other one you can collect the batteries then you can begin enable uh, this by the way, this part uh, GB have some bugs, so you will really have a lot of, lot of locations you need to enable again. The bug maybe they, you know may need to kill it later. And T start, T stays. Ah, we got some you know. Then the lot of stay. Wow, get some value. Why stop? Why okay? Because. Uh, uh, now we will face a vision. Uh, Azure is uh, we don't know which frame is uh, for which frame is uh, which frame is for which CPU, right? We we don't know because the uh, we uh, the KDTP KDTP know because the, the ring buffer or of KDTP is uh, uh, each ring buffer is for just for one call of the system, but. Uh, but the GB don't support you know multi call you know multi call trace from right so uh, GB don't know how to get it to use us so you, you we have a CPU ID in, inside the trace from but.
but uh, it's uh, get it is uh, very very hard. So how to how we handle it? Who knows? We have some way to handle it. Red Hat guy, don't know. We have you you already do a lot of work around it. Okay, come on, let's go. It's Python. <laughs> Yeah, we have this. Uh, we support Python now, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we got Python, they got everything. Just let it do it. Very small program. I think, but I don't know how. Uh, I don't spend a lot of time because very Python, very, very. Then you get everything. You get everything. You can see one CPU, one of three, four. Get everything very, very fast. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the people that are working on this. Let the GB support Python. Thank you very much. Then we get everything. Uh, next, uh, I can output date to print K. Uh, KGTB can use some you know, uh, special TSV to let respond to the output date to print K. Then it's uh, very useful with uh, offline debug. The next is uh, we we have said uh, we have two very maybe you know some people think it's an interesting function is uh, uh, very interesting function that uh, uh, maybe some people like it as uh, uh, not based on k prop. You know, uh, before I had this function, some people said to me, ah, you, you just, uh, you know, wrapper or something of uh, k prop. Then now I have uh, these two functions, and I say, no, sir, of course not. I'm not based on k prop. <laughs> the first one is uh, what trace point. What trace point can control the hardware breakpoint and record the memory access of the kernel? So it's a, what's mean? Okay, I tell you what means. Uh, it's a watch point of the KJTP, like a watch point of GDB. So it's uh, now of course it's just about x86. The first I will show is a stick watch trace point. The same is uh, OpenGB connect to KJTP. Uh, same. And you can, we want to watch some Madrid. Oh, again. Okay. It's a, uh, you can see it's a uh, trace is something different. It's a, uh, trace not a address of code. We, we want a uh, trace on the address of the uh, variable. Then, then you can, you know, after that it's a, uh, set, uh, set some value to the special TSV. You can say watch stick. It means, this watch point is uh, a stick watch, watch point, and another one is a tab. Tab means, uh, tab one means uh, watch on the right, just watch on the right of the, 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 this variable. And the next is set, the, the, after that it's uh, collect the, this is real, real part that collects something. It's uh, the, the, this uh, watch value is uh, the value after is, uh, this variable is changed. What's pre-value pre is, uh, pre-value is uh, of course it means uh, before it's changed, right? Then you can you can show something like uh, what what want to do in the GE. And he starts, he says, he starts like what did did before. Then you can see he he find you can see anything change words change. Also, if you want uh, also if we can get them words how it change backtrace or oh, everything. Okay. And uh, <coughs> I know if you some if somebody know what uh, in do some work about the kernel, maybe you will say, "Hey, I don't like it because the kernel already have a frame about the the uh, the trees about the watch point. What, uh, no, 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 hardware breakpoint frame. Then when you read it, when uh, you can you uh, you uh, you uh, say, eh, I can very write a very very easy code to watch something like you what you did.' That said." No, sir, you are totally wrong. I, we have two, two, two parts better than you. The first part is uh, I also suppose some old, very old version of Linux kernel. And another one is uh, important thing is uh, we have a dynamic trace point. The dynamic what trace point? What is dynamic what trace point? 
it can, uh, can if sometimes you cannot get the address directly, right? You know, we, we, uh, the previous one, previous one, stick one, just get the, uh, the, 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 the value that, uh, of the, 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 you can get the address directly, right? But uh, sometimes if a variable just, uh, you know, just inside the, the, the just inside the function, you can't get the address directly, right? It's just uh, available inside the function. So we have, uh, you know, dynamic word transparent. You can see we can, oh, trace one, what's it mean? It's uh, just uh, become, uh, you become ID inside the, 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 the tri KGTP, then let uh, the other trace point find where is the, 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 this word point. The same is very close, the word six zero, it means uh, the dynamic word trace point is the after that the same. Then you can do is uh, next, uh, set the, so the trace point in the and access it. It means uh, we, we want to use, use this word point. The one, or the address one is, uh, and then you can see, oh, we got watch, watch start. What start, what, what means of watch start? What start means uh, uh, when you, you, want to, you want to start the, the word trace point, you can, you know, you can just, uh, uh, just uh, set up, you means uh, the, try to find, uh, you know, try to all look a uh, hardware breakpoint from the full breakpoint of the x86 and uh, set its address to, to this what hardware breakpoint let it begin to watch on it. We, uh, I think a lot of people know we, all, we just have a full watch point so maybe sometimes it's a fail but we already got a lot of transform so we don't worry about it. Then Watch, watch stop. This means uh, when you get some, you, you not always need uh, this, this word point. So sometimes you need, when you, you, for example, you, your function is uh, stop. This example is about the uh, you know, uh, FD of the few, few read, few write, or oh, I forgot. It's uh, uh, sometimes you don't need to keep watch on it. Then how do you do it at uh, watch stop? It's, uh, Put the address to the uh, put the address like KGTP know that now we don't need to uh, keep watch on this address. Please stop and uh, or, uh, release this hardware break back uh, back to the list and uh, let the other one use it. Then this will watch point. Then you we can test that, test up, test this, and uh, uh, then we can begin to defend. Ah, we got some value. It's changed. Then we can watch the local value function. The next is a single step and the reverse debug. Uh, now we sub suppose uh, well stepping of the of the trees point suppose well stepping, right? So we can the well single step let the kernel let the kernel do some simple single step works. Uh, we want single step we have to read. Set up. How hard would it be to do the, uh, the actual trace watch points, tracing watch points, as opposed to setting up the trace libraries? Uh, you mean the stick one or the dynamic one? The, did, you, did you make real watch trace points? Uh, you need, you mean, uh, you need, you can, you, you must can, can uh, I'm not sure it's, uh, it's hard or not hard because you, you need, uh, before the uh, kernel have this uh, watch point, you can direct, directly control the, the watch point, the hardware breakpoint from the, the code. But uh, after kernel support it is great, and then you will more hard to control it. <laughs> then, then yeah, the change I'm talking about it would actually be changes in GDP, right? I uh, don't need changes in the inside. But wouldn't that, or maybe is there no advantage to doing that? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> the the GB card works is uh, I didn't think about it because uh, this uh, you know uh, the, uh, what I did is uh, always you know around the uh, around the, the watch point uh, trace point because you know what we the K, all the KDTB is uh, uh, focused on the not stop the kernel. That means. Uh, then everything is in the trace form. So if uh, 
if it change the change the uh, change the G GDP, so uh, you know, I'm I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure about it. This part, right? yeah. I'm think about it. Maybe we can change, but I not not uh, not not think about the. Uh, I can't fi find out wh where is uh, the right don't know better way to make it uh, very easy to set up it. So I uh, added. Uh, you can see. It's also a very you, you know too much thing you need a uh, uh, setup inside this uh, word trace point, but uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> Sorry. And uh, 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 okay, then it's uh, close to next. Uh, well, single step uh, the setup or pass count. Uh, pass count is uh, very is because you know uh, single step always make your system very slow, right? So you, you need a um, uh, limit uh, time and uh, you know times time, limit times is uh, tr we trigger it. So you uh, tr you need pass count or or countation t star t star and then we can do t find. Oh, we can t find one by one. Great, but uh, it's hard to use, right? <laughs> Just uh, t find one by one. It's very, not very clear. What, what do we get? One, you just one time, then you can, then uh, now, we get some important things. Uh, we get the, the, a serial list of the instruction, right? So it uh, states, it looks like, like the function inside the, inside the GDB. It's a uh, process record, this function. Does anyone know this function? Process record? OK, no one knows? Really? Powerful function. But uh, then this function is uh, by, by me. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, we don't, I don't, uh, some, uh, we, but uh, this function is uh, reply mode is inside the, inside the KDTP part. Then we convert it to the uh, KDTP part and uh, begin to convert to the reply mode. Then you can, oh, you can single. Single step? No. Oh, you can use next. Oh, you can, you can next, and uh, you if you want, you can print the value if you collect it. Next, oh, print another value. You can also can set breakpoint. Wow, set breakpoint. Then, then, then this break. Don't worry, this breakpoint uh, that uh, available on the just a reply mode. It will not really affect your kernel execution. Don't worry about. It. Then you can, of, of course, we can use a. Uh, because of course we we can use the reverse debug. Wow, reverse back. Then thank you. And uh, then this is the frame of KGTP uh, because uh, you know we we uh, it's a very you know not a very because uh, it's a, need too much time and uh, I'm close to complete so. Uh, I will not introduce it uh, very clear. Sorry about. <laughs> Next, is the URL, the, the project, how to and the uh, uh, mail is uh, how to find me. But I want to say an uh, important thing. Please don't go. It's an important thing that if you will really Google the the KDTP, you will find a video that I post in the you you YouTube is uh, about uh, you uh, let KDTP monitor the the, the system. System uh, the hard disk uh, read or write inside the inside the kernel, and uh, you can you you found another thing is uh, you can use big OS to stop it. I maybe someone want 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 to say it. Oh, for God, I will not do it because it's really dangerous. Because before I come here, I just use this way to break my hard disk. It's real real. So what I suggest uh, that they use uh, never do it. Just say, enjoy the more videos, okay? So thanks. And with a second, as a thanks for my boss and uh, uh, the, my boss and uh, the company that may c come here to uh, to talk with us and if it, you know, all you guys. And uh, thanks all you guys that uh, listen to my you know English. Another one important thing is uh, I introduce a lot of function of the GDB. Actually, it's about GDB. Thank you. Thanks for all you guys that work on the GB trace point, especially for trace point and the re reverse debug. And uh, maybe some, some I know you know someone can never can come back, come back to meet us. And uh, 
and then I have to say thank you, thank you very much, and uh, the fourth will be with you always. Thank you very much. It's that.